war. War never changes. The truth is. In this world, you are kept safe. Vault 66 protects us from radiation, disaster, and much worse. Wastelanders now roam the land, doing as they please without laws or rules. Even worse, robotic humans known as synths weave their way through society. And worse, mutants, monsters, and dangerous beasts seek to destroy us all. Luckily, some are very special. They will survive long enough to endure the fallout and help rebuild our world. Welcome to Fallout Origins. Alright, so if I run a power line up here, we could put one turret there. And I could put one on the other side over here. And then I could probably put one on the roof. Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, wait, is that? Oh! Oh no, Zano! Zano! Get get back! Ow! Get back! Why get away from me! What's wrong? Hey! Hey! You stay away, you stinking blood sucking creep! Well, that is not a very you know, logical nickname to give me. How would you say such a thing? Uh, you're not fooling anybody, Zano. I know all about you. I know what you really are. Wait, you know my secret? Uh, I, yeah, I know your secret. I'm not some idiot. I figured it out. Well, I guess I'm not hiding it extremely well right now. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I mean, it's obvious. It's clear as day. You are a stinking vampire, and the only reason you became my friend wait, is you were trying to get me to let my guard down wait. so you could drink my blood. A what? A, a vampire. You are a vampire. You... You think I'm a vampire? Why do you think I'm a vampire? Well, well you, you don't eat normal food. Uh, That's when, true. When, when, when I was at your place, you was up at night, so obviously you're a nocturnal creature. And Kinda. Wait, actually, it's daytime right now. Wouldn't you not be uh, able to... Yeah, I mean, I, well, I am wearing sunglasses. I suppose that could have something to do with it. But no, I'm not a I'm not a vampire. <laughs> That's ridiculous. No, I'm a synth. Wait, wait, a synth? Yeah, synthetic humanoid. So, so I I know what a synth is, but but so wait, so you're telling me you're not a blood sucking vampire trying to drink the blood out of my body, and you're actually a synthetic human? Y yes, that I mean. Oh, is, my... is, is that all? That's that's not a big deal. Oh, good. Some people are not very kind to synths in this area. So, but don't worry. I'm starting to slowly turn them. Well, one quite literally. But that's aside the point. The, <sighs> this whole time I thought you were trying to... Drink, so you're not trying to drink my blood? We're uh, No, uh, I'm not trying to drink your blood. Oh, okay. Well, well this is awkward. Uh, well... I mean, if you would like to give me a DNA sample, I'm sure I could use it somewhere, but it's not necessary. Uh, no, no, that's that's weird. Um, but I, I, I guess, uh, sorry for shooting you. Did, oh, did... no, it's fine. I have a force field now. A force field? Yes, this armor. Um, well, as you, as you can see, it's pretty, pretty impressive. It'll uh, protect me from most projectile damage, especially from human ballistic weapons. Hmm, that is pretty fancy. And I can do this. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, man, I gotta get me some of that armor. What Was it well, difficult to make? Yes, and it's kind of also grafted onto my body. Oh, so, uh... Um, sure you wouldn't mind that. I already fitted another Wastelander with a uh, synthetic arm. Oh, oh, okay. Well... Uh, not so if any of your limbs begin to well stop working, let me know. I think I may be able to help. I'll I'll, I'll keep well, well I'll keep that in mind. Um. Uh, anyway, uh, so have so, you seen anyone looking around for the vending machines here? Because that's what I came here looking for. Mm. Not you Apparently too. Some are friends you friends of a friend of mine? Uh, hmm? Well, there's all sorts of people coming around looking at my vending machine. It seems to be like a freaking magnet for 
for d wasteland vagrants. Oh, what are they looking for? Is there, like secret surprise in here or something? No, I mean really, it's just a bunch of old food. It's just, it's just preserved so well. You see, I, I, I do a lot of reading, as as you know more than anybody. Give me oh, all of the course books you do. And um, you know, I really, I cherish history. And to me, this just feels like a, a historical artifact, and I feel like I gotta preserve it. You can't have any these stinking wastelanders putting their grubby little fingers all over history, you know? Oh, that makes enough sense. I was simply, you know, not necessarily looking for the vending machine itself, but looking for the people who are looking for the vending machine who happen to be friends with a friend of mine who I'm testing on. Uh, you what now? Uh, the, the people. Uh, have you seen the people that are, you know, looking at the vending machine? No, I haven't. I have, I have not seen anybody in a while, actually. I mean, not since uh, I think you were the last person I bumped into. Ah, uh, okay. You uh, spend a lot of time down in your in your lab, don't you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the chickens keep me occupied, and I'm I'm working on a couple of other things, and uh, you know, I gotta gotta tend to my nuclear reactor and all that. And uh, oh, yes. I've began to harness the power of nuclear chickens myself recently. I show what's powering this armor up. Oh, nice, nice. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I hope you do have it all, you know, contained properly and everything. Uh, well, well, one of them escaped, but aside from that, pretty well contained. Uh, okay, well, um, oh, right, right, uh, yeah, actually, you hatched the nuclear chicken while I was there. Yeah. Um, but that one got away, so if you happen to see a nuclear chicken running around, you should, uh, let me know. It's one of mine. Uh, uh, well, yeah, I'll certainly keep my eyes peeled. Um... Mm -hmm. but look what I can do with this. I can do all sorts of things, like even summon lightning. Oh. Well, okay, that's a, that's a tad bit frightening. Um... Mm -hmm. Never really pretty cool. thought... You can also shoot balls of plasma energy, but I should really get this thing charged back up again. Okay, well, what what do you need? Do you need, like, a special spot for it? Or do you need some material or something? Or I mean, really, just a lot of time and energy. Nuclear power seems to do the trick. And the uh, time, well, takes a little bit of time, as one would imagine. But it's not too hard to do. So you're saying that's grafted to your body, though? You can't take it off? Uh, partially. I mean, it's, you know, it's not fully grafted to my... I could disassemble it if I needed to. Okay, I mean, I'm just saying I might have a way you can charge it if you want to try it out. Oh, I would like to try it out. My uh, glove here is almost out of uh, energy. That's okay. not attached at all. Let me see something. If you want to come down here... Let me actually disassemble this part so I can actually get down here. And, uh, and I guess, oh, yeah. wait a second. Is that why you were able to guess my code back when you did? Because you're oh, a of course. I ran a, I ran an algorithm looking at all the possible numbers it could be based on your personality and judging by the location of this area. And uh, it only took me a couple tries. Or actually, it only took me one. Yeah, well, well that makes sense now. All right, all right well, we got to come down here and... Uh, that should that door shouldn't have been open. Actually, this shouldn't have been open. It's dangerous. Hold on one second. I just gotta mm. get my. Ah uh, uh. uh, yes. Yeah, see. A... Yeah, I just need a little protection. Measures. I guess you I don't really gotta worry about this. Um, no, not quite. Seems that I don't have uh, any radioactive contamination. But if you come back mm -hmm. here and you look at this bit right here where I'm storing my energy. Oh, it doesn't work like that anymore. Oh, never mind. I thought there was a way that you could put... There used to be a way that you could put stuff in this thing. But, uh, don't work that way no more. That is a lot of power, however. It is a lot. I've been starting to be able to, uh, you know, save up a bit here. This is sort of my buffer. Still working on it. It's just this takes a lot, to, a lot of crafting to do. A lot of materials. Yeah, I can imagine. Huh. Maybe we could work together on this because, I mean, for each individual piece of my suit, it takes, you know, 50 million units of power to charge up. So it's quite a bit. Oh but yeah. Have, uh, easily. Yeah, yeah, and then the uh, 
The actual reactor, I think, holds about, uh, like another uh, 10 or 100 million itself or something like that. It's, uh, ah. it's pretty decent. Interesting. Um, and then oh. actually while we're here, I might as well show, show you I have started a bit of an armory. Oh, a lot of storage facilities here. Yeah. It's quite interesting. Ah, I see you're working on these types of guns. Making yourself some shotgun rounds and whatnot. Very nice. Very yeah. Nice. Only oh, problem and you is have quite a bit of steel. Yeah, that I do. Um, chickens are kind of running wild. I haven't been uh, tending to them and stuff, so uh, I got to clean out the eggs and stuff. A uh, lot, lot of work to do. It's one of, of the course. reasons why I'm always cooped down here so much. But um, on the subject of these guns, I've kind of hit a bit of a wall. Do you happen to know where in the wasteland? I might find some oil. Uh, oil? Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, no, no, I don't know. Not exactly, at least. If there is, but there's um, not really any oil in the wasteland, from what I've discovered. I have noticed the same thing. Um. Oh, man, it, it, you said you have some theories, though? Um. Yes, well, actually, it's a bit of a confirmed theory. It's just, uh, we think that there may be a stash of oil in the vault, actually. Oh, the vault? You, you mean the one right on the other side of the town here? Of course. Huh. Well. But some people were suggesting that they kind of needed that oil to survive, but there was also a, uh, you know, not many people live in the vault anymore, so... They're just trying to give them time to all vacate the premises before taking out their, you know, sustainable energy source. It's not really sustainable anyway. We could just replace that energy source with something else and use the oil to create weapons. See, I think we're on the same page here, Zalo. Hmm. Sounds excellent. In fact, we could use a power source, maybe even nuclear power similar to yours. Yeah. That would keep the vault nice and well running. Then we can use the oil to do whatever we want with. We could even synthesize some so we have more. I think mm. I should be able to make that happen at my facilities. As long as I can get my hands on some of it. Well, what's stopping us from going in there then? Eh, well, there's some some codes that we need to enter it. I've been trying to negotiate to get the right things. And, you know, just trying to get the right muscle ready to do that. And there's been a lot of distractions. It's mostly a lot of distractions. Oh. Apparently, you know, I, so I told you the one guy lost his arm. You know, I'm also doing some studies on another person that has two separate consciousnesses in his own head. So, it's oh I'm wait, all I, over the place. I think I met that guy. Was that the was that the guy selling real estate? No, but come to think of it, he also seems to have some very similar characteristics to that. Okay. So, well, yeah, all sorts of crazy things. There's a lot of people with uh, some some radiation poisoning in them that has affected their mind. So I want to see if I can help that. You know, help the rest of human civilization manage to not lose itself in the radiation. Well, well, good luck with that. Um, if there's anything I can do to help, I guess I suppose let me know. And um, you know, may maybe uh. Maybe I'll start looking around, seeing if I can get some of that muscle you're talking about to uh, go raid that vault and get some oil. Of course. Oil's, you know, delicate yet heavy, so going to need a lot of hands. But we'll see what we can do. And until then, you know, perhaps this power source will be able to help people. And it'll help people once we do get that oil. So, looks like yeah. we got a plan. Yeah, it seems we do. Well, um... I must say, it is uh, quite refreshing to find out you're not a vampire. Oh, of course. I mean, I still may be a vampire. Could be a synthetic vampire, for all you know. You're joking, right? Of course. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, you... Wait, so, like, you're not real? Of course I'm real. Oh, yeah, I suppose you are. Huh, I'm not a ghost. Uh, yeah, okay. Anyway, um, I, I, I do gotta get back to work. I got a lot of stuff to do here. I got some turns yeah, I see to one build. of your chickens escaped as well. 
Oh, he's fine. I'm just like I'm. I'm just letting him, uh, you know, stretch his legs a little bit, walk around a little bit, have a little bit of freedom before I put him back in his pen. But oh, uh, very well. Yeah. Um. Oh man, it's getting kind of loud out here. I guess you don't mind. You probably can handle it with that fancy suit and fancy gun. Oh, of course. In fact, I got a little extra something for these guys. I'll see you later. I gotta get me some of those weapons.